Hi there, my name is Don Bauer and in this video I'm showing you some of the photos I did from a recent gin promotion at a bar that it was a cocktail bar uh, called Brambles in Edinburgh. The gin is called Caroon, uh, C A O R U N N, and uh, it's a brand new gin, a small batch, not a huge number of them, so it's going to be quite expensive, I think. Um, and anyway, they're promoting themselves all around Edinburgh, Scotland, uh, in all these little bars. So here's the photos, see what you think. That I took while I was there. I did quite a few panoramics of inside the bar because you should always take photos of the location that you're uh, going to be shooting anything in. And anyway, so this is the bottle. And as you can see, it's fairly simple, clear glass with a nice little red star on the front. So to get a bit more interested, I started doing some light writing. And then when you play around with it in, in a light room afterwards, you can really change around the colours to make it look like an absolute disco was going on while you're taking a shot, when literally it just looked like you looking a bit silly with a little uh, torch in your hand. And there you can even draw like a person as if they're about to hold the drink and there's some smiley faces. So that's kind of some of the images which uh, the kind of brand people are, are quite interested in. They thought that kind of made it quite interesting and fun looking. They also just wanted images of people in the bar and how the bar was laid out. So again, getting shots of the place before people came along and also of people kind of sitting there drinking, uh, enjoying themselves. One of the other things is they had a glass that came with this gin, so you had to get close up. So you had to make sure you get shots of everything that is important. So this one is in a bar called Brambles in Edinburgh, so you've got to get some of the little bits of Brambles and you've got to get the glass and you've got to get the bottle. And it's good if you can get shots where it's people watching the cocktail makers actually making the drinks and images of it being poured. That always kind of goes down well. Now here's an example of a photo which initially looks boring but once you add the symbol it becomes a bit of an interesting shot. So whenever you're cropping images after you've taken them, always think of ideas that if somebody were to be editing the photo afterwards, they might want to be putting the symbol or the sign of the actual gin or, or drink or whatever it is in the actual photo. So don't always crop right into the action. Now the other thing about taking these kind of panoramics around the bar and stuff is that it's good to kind of give to the people at the bar um, to say, hey look I'm a photographer, here's some of the photos I did, there you go, for free. You know, and just give them over to them. Don't be kind of always pestering, oh I've got to get paid for it or I don't want to give stuff away for free. I always go by the idea of like give as much stuff away as possible and get your name out there as much as you can. So then with the gin, um, I decided to take it outside and do some kind of outdoor shots because I pretty much got everything inside of people enjoying the drinks and all that. So I did some kind of like ones where I started moving, did a slightly long shutter speed and held my hand in exactly the same position as the camera. So it kind of gives a, a kind of a motion blur. And then I put it on a thing in the middle of the road on a, and there that's the sun coming through so it's in the evening time. So it's quite interesting. Gin with a weight sign. And then here, so here's a perfect example of where the bottle is not in exactly the right place, but there's lots of space for graphic designers to put their signs on. So yeah, that was the photos that you saw there. Um, so yeah, as I say, like, be as nice as possible when you're on these things. Uh, if you have some people that help you out by doing the light writing. So I, I effectively just went up to two girls that were sitting in the corner said, look, I was wondering if you could help me out here because um, it'd be really cool if you could help me make this image. And, and they were like busy getting drunk. Uh, and, I, and then I told them what they had to do. They had to get these little pens, uh, these light pens, and uh, write the name of the gin backwards. So that was quite challenging to get the girls to actually do it backwards. Uh, but they managed to do it after about 15 takes. Anyway, it's a good laugh and it gets you a good rapport with some of the people that are in the actual bar and restaurant. So that's good for afterwards. I can go along and say, hey, here's my business card and uh, please go to my website and you might see some of the images. So uh, I definitely recommend going along and just uh, chatting to people and asking them to help you with some of your photos. Another thing is when you're in a bar, it's pretty dark. It's, um, you're usually going to have to have the ISO pretty high. Most of the images I was using with my Nikon uh, 50mm f1.4, I didn't really go down to 1.4 because it got a bit soft. So I was around about the 1.8 or f2 uh, aperture size and uh, around about ISO 800 up to 3000. 
and shutter speed trying to keep it around about 50 or 40 uh, 40th of a second uh, and that kind of made it get quite sharp images um, but yeah so then after I did the job I showed the guy and I, he's, I asked him what's the kind of deadline of the images you know when does he need them by he said oh there no rush no rush at all but I still kind of came home that night uploaded them all up over the next day or two I tried to edit all the photos as quick as I could so I got them all in, in total, I'd taken about 300 photos um, of the actual evening and then I edited them down to 170. So that, that's a good bunch of photos to give to a marketing people. Um, and uh, so that was in two days. So I was like, great, that's happy. Put them on Facebook for the guy to see. He said, like, that's great. And then all of a sudden I said, oh crap, the marketing management team said they need the images now. So great news for me is that I'd already done all the editing. Normally I'd probably just kind of go, actually yeah, he said there's no rush, I won't bother. But I had the images right there for him and he said, is there any chance you can get them to me by tomorrow? I'm like, where do you live? I'll be there in 10 minutes. So I gave him the memory card of all the photos straight away, which is always kind of shows that you're that little bit faster than if somebody kind of didn't pay any attention. So whenever somebody said there's no deadline, make sure you try and beat it. <laughs> you know, try try and get the images to them before they expect it, and then that, they'll be kind of really happy with that. And it also means that it's just workload taken off of your computer and you can just give it to them. I also contacted the, the bar afterwards and said, look, here are some of the photos um, I did. I'm just gonna give them for free because there's this great phrase where you should be like a digital dandelion whenever you're a photographer. And that just means it doesn't matter who gets your photos or where your photos go, as long as your photos are seen by somebody in every place around it and wherever you are, then work comes to you. You don't have to keep on pestering people for money, for jobs, for this, because if you just give it out, it comes to you. So that's just a couple of tips um, of the of kind of nightclub bar shooting. Um, and yeah, I think, I think that's kind of about it. If you have any other questions, put them down below and I'll see if I can help. Thanks a lot.